This is Windows, and this is point and click color grading right inside the viewer. To get started, just apply cinema grade to your clips in Premiere and click the open controls button. You'll then find all of your clips inside of the cinema grade plugin. Now, why is this easier? Well, the built-in grading tools have a steep learning curve and it's not always possible to get the look that you see in your head. So we thought, what if we could bypass tools that were developed in the 90s and go straight to the image? Here I have a flat looking log image and what I'd like to do first is jump straight to the contrast tool and click and drag up anywhere in the viewer to add contrast. Now this is where it gets really cool. Instead of having to know where and how to brighten the face, I can literally just click on the face and drag up and the software automatically knows what I'm wanting to adjust. In this case, the midtones. Watch over here while I do this. In the shadowy areas, I can just click and drag up to increase the brightness or bring them down to add more density. By the way, I am demonstrating this with a stylus on a touch screen to show just how revolutionary this is on Windows, but it does work the same with a mouse. Now, traditionally, you'd have to figure out, do I wanna adjust the highlights, the shadows, the whites, or the blacks? But with CinemaGrade, you just click on the area needing adjusting and then just do it. And if you're not sure where the brightness level should be, or you find the video scopes too confusing, well, along with offering the built-in scopes, you can turn on the false color feature, and this actually gives us a sort of heat map for the different exposure areas. Overexposure shows as red, so I can simply click on the area and drag down to recover highlight detail. I can click on the shadow areas and drag up, but I wanna leave just a little bit of purple so that I have some nice contrast. And the skin tones should lie in the gray, green, and pink areas. Then I can turn off the false color feature, and the last thing I want to do is add just a little bit of saturation. And the clip is done. Here's the before and after. Coming to the next clip comes the real magic of cinema grade. So let me select that clip and you can actually change the color of different things by clicking and dragging to change the hue, take the color out of the wall till we actually get nothing I like it better with color though. And you can even lighten or darken the colors. There, now we have some nice density in the wall. This also makes fixing skin tones a cinch. You can just click and drag to adjust the skin more towards red or more towards yellow. And also decrease or increase the saturation in the skin. And here's the before and after. Boom, baby. What do you think? Instead of having to plot points on a confusing curve that takes time, with Cinema Grade, you can literally just click and drag on the things that you want to change. When done, click the Apply button, and the grading gets applied back inside of Premiere. If this is something that you wanna get on Windows, give the video a like, leave a comment below, and we'll reply to your comment with how you can get your hands on this plugin. Now you might be wondering, does this really work or is this just a gimmick? Well, we actually show you how to color grade an entire scene in less than two minutes in our Dakar race video. And if you wanna see that video, just click the link in the card above. I'm really excited to bring this to you. We haven't even touched the shot matching or final grading pages yet. We'll cover those pages in the two upcoming videos and you'll see why most people are getting muddy looking video and how this problem gets solved in these two pages. I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.